Okay, now I'd like to introduce Mr. Mike Matheny, who will introduce our speaker for tonight. Thank you, Russell. It's been my privilege to know this young man that I'm going to introduce for you for a couple of years. And he has displayed one of the greatest efforts of courage because of his heart and who he is as we've watched him battle through the difficulties that he's had. The strength that he has shown to us at his age is much stronger than many people my age and the adults that I know. He's a model for us and for the students. He helps us, our students understand in our school at Norris Creek Intermediate that this, that cancer can affect everyone. I got to see and had the privilege to see a whole student body and a whole community come together in honor of two gentlemen, and one of them was Kevin Triplett. Kevin, if you'll come stand beside me, please, if you can. And his mom. What a blessing he's been to us in our school to see. And he brings home all the things that we know about love and courage. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Kevin Triplett. Thank you, Dr. Matheny. <laughs> uh, good evening, and uh, welcome to the 2001 Wilkes County Relay for Life. My name is Kevin Triplett, and I'm 14 years old um, in the ninth grade at West Wilkes High School. I'm a cancer survivor. <laughs> um, and uh, now I'd like to tell you about my cancer story. Last year, the year 2000, I had been having some uh, some uh, leg pain, and uh, um, I never could find out what the problem was. And uh, I had some physical therapy at the wellness center, but uh, never could find out what the problem was. So uh, I went to an orthopedist down uh, in town and uh, had some uh, x-rays and an MRI done. And when the results came back, it showed that I had a tumor below my knee. It was uh, below my knee and the tibia bone in my right leg. I didn't know right then if it was uh, cancer, so they sent us down to a um, Baptist hospital in Winston-Salem, and uh, I seen a bone tumor specialist, and uh, he done a needle biopsy on my leg, and uh, when the results came back, it showed that it was cancerous, and uh, I was just like, you know, I was in shock and uh, I was scared because um, I had to, I didn't know if I was going to die or lose my leg or what was going to happen. I mean, I, since um, I figured that um, if I ever got cancer, it'd be like when I was 70 years old or so. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just 13. And uh, I stayed, uh, um, all in all, I stayed about close to 115 days in the hospital and uh, lost all my hair and 
lost a bunch of weight and uh, got down to about 108 pounds and uh, I was sick sometime with the chemo treatments. I had 21 of them in all and uh, had problems with uh, mouth sores and just the side effects. Um, and uh, uh, but uh, I met some uh, um, nice people down there, and the nurses are great, and the best doctors. And I uh, met some other teenagers that was dealing with the same type of stuff as me. and uh, made some real good friends and so I had some good times but probably the main thing of the whole whole ordeal was uh, my cancer surgery there's a chance going into the surgery that I'd lose my leg and uh, I was uh, scared and worried about that but uh, the doctor said he felt like he could save it, and uh, I just kept uh, praying and hoping, and, and I felt pretty good going in that I would uh, have my leg. And what they were going to do was, or what they did, was took out the part of the bone in my right leg with the cancer tumor on it and uh, put in a dead person's bone and uh, drove a long steel rod through the middle of it and um, after 12 hours of surgery I woke up and I had my leg and I'm just real thankful for that and uh, then after the surgery in a few days of me in the hospital I started my rehabilitation and uh, I wore a long leg cast for about two weeks and went back to the surgeon and got it took off and uh, I got my staples took out and um, then I had another long leg cast and wore it about seven or eight weeks and uh, then in September of last year I um, uh, graduated to this knee immobilizer and I've, and I've had it since um, September of last year, but um, uh, but my leg's doing real good. I just can't walk on it yet. I can put some weight on it, and I go back to um, the um, leg doctor uh, at 22nd of this month, and I'm just hoping and praying that uh, I can start putting some more weight on my leg and uh, doing some walking. And um, now I'd like to share with you about how I dealt with cancer. Um, I really couldn't do much because uh, the shape my leg was in, but I loved to play the guitar, and I'd come home and just um, play my guitar for hours, and uh, that helped pass the time, and um, watch TV, and... Uh, play video games <sighs> and but the thing thing that helped me the most was uh, my relationship with the, with the Lord Jesus Christ <laughs> <laughs> 